Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video we will see how to create content toggle in Divi. So creating content toggle can be very challenging in Divi but if you want a very simple option to create content toggle in Divi then uh, here I am. So using the Divi Supreme's newly released Divi content toggle module we can easily create content toggle in Divi. So uh, here you can see some of the demos uh, and we'll, we'll also see how you can create content toggle using their module so here's how it looks and here's a pricing table and some more demos on this page like that so let's see how we can create the same thing for our DB websites so let's just get started so first of all come to your WordPress dashboard and uh, as we have two toggles in the content toggle module we'll need to create two library layouts for each toggle so we'll just go ahead and create two library layouts first before we add content toggle module to our page so let's just go ahead to Divi then Divi library and from here click on this add new button to add a new layout and give this layout a name so we'll just create a simple pricing table from uh, from DB layout uh, library and uh, yep let's give it a title as monthly toggle and then layout type as layout and then submit and it's gonna open up the DB builder so let's build from scratch and uh, sorry <laughs> we need to add the layout not build from scratch okay so uh, let's just search for pricing so uh, this one looks really cool so we'll just use this layout okay so the layout has been loaded uh, so let's just go ahead and delete some of the unwanted elements from the page so let's just delete these sections from here and and then we can uh, go to this section setting background and just simply reset it and I think we are good to go we can also make the row full width and like that and then remove all the padding from here and same goes to the bottom okay so we have the pricing tables in the div library as a monthly toggle with no spacing anywhere and then we can go ahead and save this okay so now we can go to DB library in a new tab and then create a new layout and uh, give it a name as yearly toggle and then change the layout type to layout and then submit it and what we can do now is copy this section from here and uh, paste it right over here and then delete this empty section and from here we are going to change the monthly text to yearly like that super duper easy and then if you have any changes to make in your pricing table you can go ahead and make them and yeah the main thing is don't forget to change the pricing okay so uh, let's just give it like 199 and for this one something like that maybe it's just a demo so we'll just go ahead so it's now saving and uh, okay so now we have both the layouts in our DB library yearly toggle and monthly toggle so now we can go ahead and create a new page or if you have already created a page you can go ahead and edit that so let's just give it give this page a title as content toggle demo and then use the DB builder so let's just go ahead and uh, build from scratch okay so we can add the module content toggle module here and it's really simple to use just give this switch a uh, heading let's give it monthly and then use 
uh, change the content type to library or if you have a short code for your pricing table you can change the type to short code so let's just go ahead and uh, select library and then select the layout from the library so because this is a monthly toggle we'll just choose monthly toggle from here and one thing to be noted that it, it may not work properly in a DB Builder the layout might not render properly in the DB Builder it's a it's kind of a DB thing I, I have it on their documentation page DB currently isn't capable of uh, running a library layouts into the DB Builder directly and uh, yep that's it and uh, for the content too this one let's just give the adding as yearly and then change the content type to library and then and then select the layout okay so it's it's that easy so we can go ahead and move to the design tab and here you can make some required changes to the switcher or any other elements like that so i don't think it's looking good here it looks cool there then we can change the primary background color this one like that looks good here I think and then secondary color as this one like that and then inner uh, white looks good and then heading one just make it a little more bolder so it will look good maybe I can copy the design nope okay so i will just go and do it manually okay so uh, that looks really good and now we can go ahead and move to this panel content one we can have a custom background like that but it won't show properly in the db builder as i mentioned earlier so yep you can also check out these options from here content one and uh, content two and uh, yeah let's just let's just save the page and uh, see what we have got so let's exit the visual builder and as you can see it's rendering properly on the front end it it looks the same as you will see on the in the db library okay so here we go this is the monthly switch with this ML text that we have created in the library and then this is the yearly so uh, yep it's it's that easy to create content toggle now in Divi so I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, I hope so <laughs> and uh, if you want to purchase Divi Supreme Pro you can do so from my affiliate link in the description and uh, I'll get some commission and it helps me a lot so meet you in my next video till then have a great day peace